Seven years ago, Bayern Munich embarrassed Arsenal. They smashed us out of the Champions League. They beat us 10-2 on aggregate. But things will 100% be different this time around. Look at the back line we played in that game. Just look at some of them players and look how this squad has improved. I mean, tell me Gabriel will crumble like so many of them other players did. Tell me that Ben White and Saliba don't have the ability to stop any attack in world football. So I say bring on Harry Kane. Bring on the guy who went to Germany to be guaranteed a chance of winning a trophy and he was stopped by Granit Xhaka. And now Arsenal have the chance of stopping him in the Champions League. I am so excited for this game and I want to hear people's thoughts and opinions on it. And also let me know your, your score prediction in the comments section. I've, I've gone for a 3-1 win to Arsenal, but I just hope they don't get caught up in the moment. You know what it's like? You're playing in a tournament that you've never played and you've never got this far. Hopefully the players still go out there and produce the type of performances they have been all season. Hopefully they go out there and attack this game. Get straight on the front foot and show Bayern why we are favourites. You know, these players can't get caught up in the moment. They can't sit there for a minute and think, oh my God, I'm in the quarterfinal in the Champions League for the first time in my life. You know, we got Havertz and Jorginho who have the experience of being this far in the competition. And could that be invaluable? Probably, yes. But it's just whether Mikel Arteta decides to start those players. We've got so many options. But also Bayern Munich have options. And I like what Mikel Arteta said about Bayern Munich's threats. Okay, he said, they're a tough team. I'm a big fan, a big admirer of Thomas, his teams, the way they settle and play. The way they transmit, I learn a lot about him and looking at Bayern. And when you are analysing this league, you see why they are a top team. We have prepared well and we have to take our game where we want it. If we do that, we have a chance to win. And that's exactly what I'm saying. We have to apply our way of playing in this game. We have to go out there and be progressive. We have to go out there and be fluid. We can't play like we did in that Porto game. We struggled to break Porto down at times because they was just content on just sitting deep. Will Bayern Munich have that same game plan? I don't know. Listen to what he said about Arsenal. Arsenal are currently the best team in the Premier League. All statistics prove that they're in fantastic form. They're also the best team in Europe from set pieces. We're a little behind. We know about their strengths, how we want to hurt them. There's been a change of culture under Arteta. This is now paying off massively. They're dominating the toughest league in the world. They're at a very high tactical level, are very stable against the ball. And I am just hoping that Bayern Munich come to play as well. We know they've got no fans in the stadium. Let me know what you think Bayern Munich is going to do because a lot of people are suggesting that maybe Bayern Munich are going to sit deep and not try and win this game. They're just going to not try and lose it. They've got no fans in the stadium. They're away from home in the first leg. If they can keep this tight or, or say if they only lose 1-0, they can bring it back to the Allianz Arena and really go for Arsenal when they've got the home advantage. Do you think Bayern Munich are going to do that? Look, I hope Bayern Munich come to play because I want to see a good attack against a good attack. But if Bayern Munich do sit deep, I don't think they're going to have the same success as Porto had. I don't think this defence is as solid as that Porto defence. I don't think it's as ex experienced as that Porto defence. They've got some dodgy players in there. Upper Meccano, I think he's capable of making a mistake. Alfonso Davis is brilliant getting forward. He's one of the fastest players in the world. But in terms of defensive solidity, I don't think he's that strong defensively. So I think if they do just sit deep and allow Arsenal to attack them, I do think there will be openings. I do think there will be mistakes. And over a prolonged period of a sustained attack, I think Arsenal can have success. Like I said, I want to see a free-flowing game. I want to see Bayern Munich going for it. I want to see Arsenal going for it. You want to see two of the best teams in Europe going for it. But I do worry with them having no fans, with them being away in the first leg, will they just try and sit deep? Look, Arteta's going to have ideas on how to break them down. And I like the answer that he gave when he was asked a question. One of the reporters said to him, will you be speaking to Xavi Alonso and getting some information or tips on how to beat Bayern Munich? And he just sort of laughed and he said, great question, but I'm not going to answer that. So maybe he has been on the phone speaking to Xavi Alonso, but Arteta and their coaching team are so diligent in their preparation that I'm sure they've already got a game plan marked out. And in terms of if we can expect any surprises in terms of lineup, look, when we trained yesterday, for the first time in such a long time, we had every single player 
participating in training. We had Timber in there. We had other players in there. I think Ethan Wanieri might have even trained with the, with the senior team. So we had a full squad. So as long as we can keep that now, we're going to have a full squad going into the rest of the season. That bodes well. Mass Look, we got a big game today, but we got a big game coming up as well against Aston Villa. So the fact that we've got that whole squad available is brilliant. But I want to get people's thoughts and suggestions on this, okay? So... Look, if we do have a full team, you would expect the front three to be Havertz, Martinelli and Jesus. But I'm kind of not pushing back, but I'm asking for your guys' opinions because I probably would would still play Gabriel Martinelli. But it is interesting because you've got Trossard and Gabriel Jesus. Look, Trossard's got more goals than the other two. So would it be harsh for Trossard to miss out? It probably would be. I've, I've been on record saying that I think Trossard is actually Arsenal's best finisher in the whole squad. So would it be harsh for Trossard to miss out? Yes, but we've seen many times Trossard have a good game. And then when Gabriel Martinelli is available, he comes straight back in. Gabriel Martinelli is the first choice left winger. But also, Gabriel Jesus. Should we be playing him? He's the top scorer in the Champions League. He does frustrate Arsenal fans at times. But in the Champions League, we have to admit he's been brilliant this season. I just wanted to get people's thoughts on that. Because for me, I probably still go Gabriel Martinelli. And I think it's brilliant that we have these kind of options available to us. You know, say if it does get to 60, 70 minutes and there's been no breakthrough. How good is it that we can still bring players like... Thomas Partey if he doesn't start or Trossard or Gabriel Jesus. We've got so many options to come on and try and affect the game that I would feel confident even if we're going into the 60th minute and we still haven't scored. I still think we could win the game 2-0. Listen, this is going to be a difficult game. I've gone with a 3-1 scoreline, but I'm just so excited. The day has finally come. Arsenal are favourites going into a Champions League quarterfinal tie against Bayern Munich. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Thanks so much to everyone for watching and listening. If you could, before you go, just do me the favor of giving me a thumbs up on this video and I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Gooners, have a good day.